G'day guys, Cass here. Today we're going to be playing Wooden House. It's a game by the same developer as My Bones. People will forget what the soul dot 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 dot. He will know the fear and he will try with all his power to escape from his own nightmare. I'm going to try with all my power to escape this game. Ah, no. Okay, Wooden House. Not sure we should bother checking the king and my cursor just escaped the window. Radio and I just clicked outside the game. Okay. Looks pretty normal. Close that. Let's begin. I get out to the fresh air. To hell all the city bustle. It is time to enjoy the peace and silence sitting by the fireplace in the new house. Oh boy. I hope I've got a uh, house insurance. Can't. A shadow effect that. What is this forest? Nice bell. How there is cold and gloomy. We may never know. Oh, can I run? Is that even running? It's barely. The fuel cans may be coming handy. I mean, sure, but why do we have a pad of fuel canister? And the cursor keeps escaping the window each time a text box pops up. That's going to get real fun. Hope we're all having a good day today, guys. Uh, I get the feeling mine's about to be real interesting. Is this the basement? That would be the basement. House of Terror. Scrapped game title, I'm sure. I'm assuming that's some random YouTuber. Though I'm kind of in that club at the minute, aren't I? Can I can't click and drag it. What the heck's going on there? Bring the fuel. Great. I'm glad you made me walk all the way down here so I could walk all the way back up. I suppose this is setting the atmosphere. Spinning. Okay. Oh, yeah. Back down we go. Okay, what do I do over here? Just to interact with this. Okay, I guess. That is really loud. Okay, yeah, we get it. Generator. Generator, cut it out. Wait, why did I need the electricity to get... That's blank. Hello and welcome. Now the house is in your hand. Thank you for, for buying of this wonderful house. Before entering the house, make sure that the heating turned on. The key to the main entrance you can find in the basement, in a basket. The fuel cans are behind the house. Have a nice holiday. Real estate agency of the property. So you couldn't even come up with a fake name for the real estate agency? Uh... Where's the basket? I was promised a key. Please do not make me look stupid in front of my adoring legions of fans that I'm certain I have. Is it in here? This is a basket. No. And ring the doorbell to the house that we know nobody's inside because I'm not even in there yet. Should be in the basement. Oh. Well, that's open now. Uh, basement. Hello. What? So I couldn't open the back, but I can open... I, I am here in the new house. The price was very low, but the house is really wonderful. I switched on the heating and now I have to turn on the generator for the light. But in the basement is very dark. I should find a candle that go down there. 
You've got to keep using that effect. The house that is heating bones. What does that even mean? Save. Sure. Get off my screen. And there's just permanent dusty fog everywhere. Great. Door lock. What the hell is ticking? Is it that clock? You want to play chess but with nobody. I've been playing checkers for years. Oh, I found... Is that the key? No, nope, that's nothing apparently. Floorboard turned off the clock. Let me in. Okay, whatever that was. We are going to need to do some repairs. Uh, what the hell are those? They, I suppose they were meant to be cockroaches, but they look like coins. Okay. Finding a candle. Door's still locked. And that floorboard's going to creak every single time. These candles? Those are candles. What about this candle? This spinning candle. Okay, you have to click twice, I guess. Door part two. Electric boogaloo. Okay. Well, I just found a candle and you're already going to give me a lantern. Thanks. G. Can somebody oil that door? Thank you. Oh no, you do not want to go there. These are confounded generators. How long can I repair them? I hate this basement. I found the battery in one of the small rooms in the basement and I turn on the switch with its help. Ash tea. Well, thank you for your collection of your random thoughts that have absolutely no effect on the gameplay, Ash T. What would we do with... Uh, hello, Moth. What would we do without you, buddy? An empty spool. Oh, more notes. What is this attack? There are always something wrong in the basement. And this door. I have not found the keys to this house for ten years. It is very old, and last time I saw a rat the size of a dog. I do not know what is there, but the sounds are heard not a pleasant. Ash T. He capitalized the T this time. We're getting some... Gee, I wonder. Where could it possibly want me to go? Can't turn you on. I need the battery to turn on the switch. Where's the battery? Can I go in here now? Nope. Looking for a battery. More pallets. Random hardware. I'm 99% sure that was not there before. Whatever. It gets us out of here. I keep forgetting to spin because there's just no speed difference. I mean, look at that. I different text. Well, I've finished my work. I switched on the heating and now I can relax. Perhaps I read a book in my leisure or drink something. The ultimate sign of the bachelor bro. Drinking by himself in an empty house with creaky floorboards. Can I go? It is time of peace and silence. With an exclamation mark, so you know he wants to be really quiet. I mean, at least the fog effect's gone. The old book. I did not see it when I came down here. Can you stop breathing on my neck, buddy? What? Sharia. Okay. I have no idea what that even said. We're going back upstairs. We're going back upstairs. Floorboard's creak. Okay. Okay, let me show you. So this is walking. Walking. Sprinting. Walking. Sprinting. Are both my legs broken, or...? Door's still locked. Okay. Where's the bedroom, if we can put, put a key? Let's save again, just in case. 
level two. Well, I hope I'm on a higher level than two now. I'm just so fucking good at this game. Press F. So, unlike everything else, this is okay. Like how you can hear the mic pop back out. Why did that need to be so loud? That is the bedroom. What? Was that a hiccup or was he saying hey? Why, are, why can't I open anything without it screaming at me? Come on. I do not need these old documents. Okay. Well, maybe remove the asset. Hello, random photo of an old person. Very creepy, super spook. At some point, something has to happen, right? Finally, I found it after all this time. These doors are opened at night. I thought that I dreamed the nightmare again. There is a descent to deep house behind the door. There is something like a room for doing the rituals, but when I opened it, dead peoples try to kill me. As long as I liquidate the book, I need to put it in its pl to its place. The most important thing, it is getting to the basement descent. I'd just like to point out that we went from Ash T with a lowercase T to Ash T with a capital T to Ash comma T instead of Ash period T. That, that's just amazing. Who needs consistency when you have such overwhelming, powerfully, powerful, powerfully, word choices, such overwhelmingly strong character development. And every door is locked to this house that I just bought. But, well, at least we've got God watching over us. I'm sure everybody feels safer when they know that, oh, someone's watching them in their sleep. I was waken up the notice from next door. I need to check, is there everything okay? Not okay, okay. Very different. He is certainly a uh, wood connoisseur. And what is going on? So would you believe it? The game crashed. Shocking. I must say, I immediately wanted to fund my $5 purchase. Um, this is getting a downvote on Steam. I will join the herd of angry commenters. I'd just like to point out before we get back into it that uh, this preview of the game, this one's fine, but this one, I want to be in that game. Yes, please. I'll uh, cut the boring stuff, stuff out and get us back to where we were. Not this time, doors. Not wasting my time on you. Straight to bed. Let me in. Come on, loading bar. You can do it. Load the game. Oh my, good job, you completed your only purpose. Blood and Dream, Chapter 4. Oh no. What is that noise from next door? Somebody's got their bass pedal out, holy hell. I'd love to save, thank you. What? 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 Can I come back? I can hear walking. What is... Oh, come on, please. What? Uh, GD Nomad, uh, we've encountered a problem with your product. Um, um, you have a good time, dude. I've got, you know, stuff to do. Paranormal Investigations team over here. Uh, that person was like a stiff. I, I can't read that fast, mate. I've just had a close encounter of, uh, the haunted kind. I'm recovering. Let's go back to the basement. Oh, it's getting faster. 
feel like I'm about to enter the matrix. Oh, that horror stinger. Ooh, it's all red. Yes, please, give me the save. Help, where are you? Uh, well, right now I'm a stairway. This is some old wood, wood mate. I'd, uh, it, it just doesn't stop now, does it? One after the other. I'm getting bashed. Oh, the book's back. It was a real nightmare. I have found the skeleton of previous owner of this house. He could not destroy the book, but I have finished his work. I hope that I can get out of this place. The most important thing, to find the entrance. I mean, I can think of at least one other option. It involves breaking open a w and it crashed again. Take me home, copyright claim, this video. Oh look, the preview is still bugging. Woo! What? What? What just happened? The menu's not even working. Exit? Continue? Load? Let's go again. Have you ever, ever felt like this? Now strange things happen when you're going round the twist. Well, have you heard that? I'm gonna have to reload my other game, aren't I? Because he's just going to die each time I load this. One more time. Surely on the third reload it has to figure out what it's doing. Maybe if I move the moment I get into the game. Holding W. Nope. So while I'm miserable- Oh, shut up! So while I'm miserably drag myself back to that, uh, little section, let's go through the GD Nomad Gamer Guide to how to be a pro GD Nomad player. Uh, first things first, save in a different slot every time because you never know when the game's just gonna go balls up and neck itself on you. Second pro tip, uh, shift does basically nothing, so never rely on it. Third pro tip, don't bother connecting headphones, because he'll rape your ears anyway. Save game, yes please. Hopefully that one works. Well, I've got no idea where I am, but I can promise you where my foot's gonna be. It's gonna be about, uh, three to four inches up here. What? This... Just load this time. Just load. A boo oh, we loaded. We're in. Hello. I'm here for my GD Nomad experience. Oh, <gasps> oh my god, again. Can it stop being so goddamn loud? I, I can't even commentate over this. It is too loud. Finally, I need to run from this place. You're telling me, how do I escape this game? Hello, quickest exit. Thank you. What? A cave? What is this? Cake? J H J G What H J J K K H H J uh, Was uh, I don't even I've never been so happy to the sun and fresh air.
What the? I, I got out of this place. I left the book in the basement. Deads were chasing me, even after I left the book on the altar. Unfortunately, the writer of this book could not get out. Ash, comma, T. Dead. Oh, the book cannot be destroyed, but it can be locked away for a few hundred years. How much evil would not be in the world? There was always a drop of light in the darkness. The book's owner gradually became dead and he lost... He felt how lost himself? The darkness corrupts people. Nobody cannot give you back your soul and mind. You need to remember this. Nobody can not give you back your soul and... Wooden house. Please tell me it crashed. Please tell me it crashed. Oh, for the love of God. Huh? Black screen? Hello? Knock knock? In the house? No, oh, it didn't crash. Well guys, uh, I guess I should give my final thoughts on the game. Kinda makes you think that I had a single thought while playing this game, but it felt like a continuous stroke, to be honest. Um, yeah, just... There's no atmosphere. The entire game was basically a walking simulator of pick up item, put down item, with no puzzles, no engaging gameplay whatsoever. The monster designs looked out of place, so I'm assuming they were store-bought. The animation was buggy, so he must have sped it up and just the model brought up by overexerting itself and doubling the speed of the animation and then he almost clipped through a door and could still kill me through it so yeah a uh, demon quality though is we got to meet Ash T whose entire character development was strange single sentence thoughts jotted on paper Throughout the house. Um. Okay. I guess I better put something at the end of the video here to uh, pad that runtime, TM. I understand I haven't been uploading much, but I'm going to get back into it. YouTube is something that I enjoy. Recording myself and engaging with people. It's. I enjoy it a lot, so. I want to get back into it and hopefully develop myself a bit more as a YouTuber. Be more entertaining. All that fun stuff that everybody says they're trying to do. But if you're watching this video today, tomorrow, years on from now when I've potentially made it into the YouTube Hall of Fame, I just want to say thank you. It's been a pleasure. See you guys. Have a good one.